Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's talk about quitting porn, making more money, and making bigger muscles. So, guys, um, a lot of you guys want better health. You want uh, a better physique. You want to make more money. You want to have a better sense of meaning and purpose in your life. And a lot of you guys are struggling with porn, right? A lot of you guys are struggling to stop that incessant masturbation, right? And, and uh, leaking your fluid onto your sock, onto your pelvis, whatever. And as a result, guys, of you quitting porn, I'll tell you, I'll tell you my testimony. I have absolutely skyrocketed my physique um, over the past two years, right? Like I look pretty lean. Uh, I have a good amount of muscle, right? I'm not like bodybuilders, like status yet, um, or not yet, but just body. I don't really want to be a like look like a bodybuilder. It's really not. I just don't feel like it fits my my body type. Um, but I look pretty good, right? I, I have, I can do a lot of weight. Uh, I have good endurance. I have, uh, I have a. I just have good health when it comes to my physique and my cardiovascular system is on point. Um, and everything in that, in that regard is good. Right. And I, I don't really, I really think that that part of me would have been continued to be stifled had I not stopped masturbating. Right. Um, obviously because we know that our testosterone plummets when we consistently ejaculate, consistently, um, watch porn. And, uh, you know, as a result of that, I mean, you see all these flabby men walking around and it's like, no wonder why they're flabby, right? Most of them are addicted to porn, right? They won't say it, but let's be real guys. Most of them are. Um, so that's, that's one of the biggest things that has transformed me completely is my physique and, uh, just better health, better cardio. Um, and I just have better endurance. I can do more in the gym, right? I remember when I was addicted to porn, I could barely like do four sets of anything right i do like i remember like a few years back i'd go to the gym and do like four exercises and do like three sets each now i can do like eight exercises four to five sets each no problem right so it's like pretty much i'm able to do double what i was able to do when i was addicted um so obviously that is that's improvement right there right that's big improvement that's double the amount of workload that i can handle now and then making more money right um when you stop watching porn, your physiology changes changes for the better, right? I just talked about the physical aspect of it, more testosterone, more endurance. That can apply to making money, right? So when you have more endurance, when you have more testosterone, you have more energy, right? There's more energy to utilize and allocate towards your goals, right? So when you're, you know, maybe you're working a job, right? And you want more money. Well, you'll have the energy to work that second job. Or maybe you don't want a second job, but you want to study something. You want to get a degree or you want to get a certificate in something that's going to make you more money. You'll have the energy to go home after an eight hour day and be able to study for an extra hour or two without feeling like you've, you're like exhausted, right? Because let's be real, right? Most of us, when we go home from work, we don't like our, our current situation, right? We wish we could have a better life. We wish we could be financially free or just better well off financially. So we, um, you know, as a way to uh, fill that hole or avoid making change, we masturbate and we self-sabotage to ease the, the sense of the fact that we need to do more. That's really what it is, guys. When you masturbate and watch porn, you're self-sabotaging because you know what to do. I think we all know what to do to achieve the life we want. But when we don't do it, we feel bad about ourselves. And when we feel bad about ourselves or we feel... Uh, like we're not doing what we're supposed to do that's when we that's when we masturbate because it's so it's too much it's too much on our mind to be sober to constantly think to ourselves wow I'm wow I'm regretting every single day that I'm not working on something extra it's it's so painful to face that reality so we masturbate to to ease and soothe the pain of the fact that we're not living up to what we uh, what we are capable of right so when you, like I said, I mean, and it applies to your mental clarity too. I didn't really mention that. I'm going to talk about that here real quick. Your mental clarity skyrockets. So a lot of you guys who want to do work that involves using your mind, like maybe it's a YouTube channel where you just like me, for example, I'm talking about things that require me to have uh, a strong mental acuity, right? I need to be clever. I need to be able to think on my toes when I, 
uh, speak in these videos. Guys, the videos I make are not scripted, right? I, I have like a general idea and a general concept of what I'm gonna be talking about, but I don't sit there and write little things about like, oh, what am I gonna talk about on this? What am I? No, I just go with the flow. I have a general concept and I move accordingly, right? But like I said, you guys will, guys, go back and watch. I, I promise you, you'll notice the difference. Go back like three to four years ago and watch my videos on, just watch any of my videos. And I'll tell you, I was addicted to porn heavily in those days, right? 2018, 2019, watch, the, watch those videos and you'll notice my uh, my style of communication was poor. Like I would, I would just like make comments and then pause and then stutter and then like get sidetracked on rambles and I'd not be on point, right? So, I mean, I still do that to some degree. I don't know if that's my ADHD or what, but I, I would say, I mean, I can judge myself. I can say I'm a lot better than I was uh, when it comes to communicating effectively and, and clearly right so a lot of you guys who want to do deep work whether it's writing whether it's communicating via video whether it's um you're studying in school and you have to use your mind to complete your homework right or you're you you have to do something that requires like mental focus and mental strength senior retention will help you with that um the book conquest of the serpent um there's a part in that i don't i forget what chapter but the author says that uh, your vital sexual fluids, they shoot up uh, when you like culminate a lot of sexual energy. It goes, all that excess like semen that you have or that sexual energy you have goes to your brain to form more brain matter or like make your brain uh, stronger, your brain cells like more on point. I don't, I gotta look up the exact quote. I wrote it down in my Google Docs, but yeah, so like there's there's a there's definitely an association with higher testosterone, more sexual energy, and more mental clarity and focus, right? So um, I noticed that in that in also as well. I'm able when I like study or I want to read something. I remember back in the day, I would be able to only like read for like 15, 20 minutes. Now I can read for like over an hour and still get in that flow state more easily, right? And not feel like I'm like getting sidetracked or I'm losing focus because you guys probably know when you like read a book there's times where you like you just zone out or you're not focused right and that's partly due to if you're interested in what you're reading or not but also if your brain is malfunctioned because you're um you're you have reduced brain matter to your porn addiction obviously that's going to affect your ability to uh read and remember and get in that state of flow right so um those are like I said two of the things that uh, I think are very are very prominent and most noticeable when you quit porn. And I think that's what we want. Like I said, I talk a lot about what we want in life, but as men, we want health, wealth, and relationships, right? So I really talked about health and wealth, money. But um, as a result of you being better with your finances and your fitness, people want to spend more time around you, right? Whether that's a like-minded group of men or that's women, right? So your relationships are more so a byproduct of you being the best you. And part of being the best you is being able to look good, feel good, and have money, have uh, a sense of direction, a sense of purpose, and being the best you are at what you do, right? So um, when you're all of those things, I think people will gravitate towards you and the relationship aspect kind of takes care of itself uh, as you continue to better, get better in all areas that we discussed, those two areas that we discussed in this video. So yeah, guys, if you're still struggling with porn, if you want to make more money, if you want to look better, if you want to have bigger muscles, right? If you want to um, attract good relationships with women or you want to uh, have good friendships with men, right? Strong friendships with like-minded brothers. Um, click the link down below to download my free ebook on how to quit porn. I detail everything that's helped me in the past five years. And I think you guys will get a lot of value out of it. So yeah, that's it. That's all guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.